controversial sculptures in downtown Fort Myers are here to stay, including this one of a man and dog urinating on a pole. It made headlines. Some people were offended, but it brought in the crowds. The artwork was supposed to be removed last March, but the city has now agreed to keep them there as long as possible. NBC2's Levi Ismail shows us why. The statues by international artist Eduardo Carmona have become a must-see in downtown Fort Myers, so the city council is eager to keep people coming to the River District, controversial or not. They each have a story. Here, a persistent fisherman hits the jackpot and finds utopia. And the first one we saw was right outside here. And we thought this is great, and we thought maybe that was the only one. Just walking down First Street, Irene Stevenson quickly learned that's far from the case. It's different, and it's art, and it's culture, and it gives a different flavor to downtown Fort Myers. 23 in total. It's kind of becoming like part of the, of the River District for some reason. Statues that, for better or worse, have people talking. Whether you like it or you don't like it, it gives you something to talk about. It's for that very reason city officials are asking for yet another extension on the exhibit. An exhibit that was meant to end in March, then in May, and then October. They've actually come in and talked to us and say, are they really leaving? They've gotten attached. Barbara Perez with Allure is proud to know her team's marketing idea has taken on a life of its own. Now that a deal is finalized and these statues are here as long as the city would like. That's just very interesting. The city is excited, of course, to have them, but the community is embracing them. Tourists marvel at them. Some taking hours to walk to corners of downtown just to see them all. You can run into some of the different local shops and things like that that are down here that you might not otherwise find. Nothing here is set in stone, but for the time being, the statues found everywhere are going nowhere. Fort Myers is the first North American exhibit for artist Carmona. Before that, many of these sculptures were on display around the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Some sculptures will be moving in the coming weeks to bring attention to rarely visited areas of the city. In the studio, Levi Ismail, NBC2.